Good morning. It is bright and early, and the fact that I'm up and dressed means we must be going somewhere fun. And this time we're going somewhere extra fun. For the first time ever, I am going to Tokyo. So I'm going to go right now to LAX, hop on a plane, fly the 12 and a half hours across the ocean, land in Tokyo, and start a trip. I'm going to be visiting Tokyo Disneyland, Tokyo Disney Sea, and other sites around Tokyo. So I am very excited about that. I have a friend joining me who I will be meeting in Tokyo. But today, I wanted to take you along to show what it's like to take that 12 and a half hour flight across the ocean, being a regular person and maybe not paying for the highest upgrades of all, and then getting there and hopefully being able to check into the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel. So join me as we go on an all new adventure, seeing all new locations and hopefully having a lot of fun. Let's go for it. Waiting for us at each of our seats, they had a travel kit that included a sleep mask and earplugs. We also got slippers and a pillow and blanket. And this gives you an idea of how much leg room I had. And then it was time to take off. From LAX, we actually went up the coast of California, and here you can see the Golden Gate Bridge. And then it was time for our first meal service of the day, which was going to kind of be our lunch or dinner service, even though it was only like 10.30 a.m. at this point. I got the pasta dish. The other option was pork and rice. And they each came with this potato salad. Instead of plastic utensils, they had these wooden ones, which was nice. And for dessert, this lemon blondie bar, which the first bite I didn't love, but I ended up eating it all and it was actually pretty good. Then I tried to get some sleep. After a few hours, they came by with warm cookies and drinks. Back in the galley area, they always had drinks available, sandwiches, chips, cheese, and cookies. And when there was only about three hours left in the flight, I finally decided to go to the bathroom. It's been years since I've used an airplane's bathroom, and so I was just documenting the size of the bathroom. Almost to Tokyo. Whenever these lights come on, you know they're either bringing a treat or meal service. Even though it was about 1 p.m. in Tokyo at this point, they brought us breakfast, which was a breakfast calzone and fruit. Despite not looking too exciting, it was pretty decent. And then they came by with little chocolates for everyone. Once I got off the plane, I changed my clothes from the flight and once again documented the bathroom. Then I picked up my pocket Wi-Fi, which I'm going to be using throughout the trip, and also went to the currency exchange to get some yen. All right, we have officially landed here in Tokyo, and it was a very good flight. The 11 and a half hours went by fast. I was able to sleep probably about four of the hours, but um, very smooth, no big drama, so it was very fun. So yeah, so now I am just waiting for my friend to arrive. So we will wait for her and then grab our bus to the Tokyo Disneyland Resort. I'm still wrapping my head around kind of the time travel that we did here because it was 11 and a half hours, but I left at like 9.30 a.m. in LAX. And now it is, and that was Saturday morning, but now it is Sunday afternoon here in Tokyo. So it was kind of weird just getting, wrapping my mind around, oh, it's happening Sunday, but it was actually today. So yeah, so. My friend is almost here, she's grabbing her bag right now, and for longtime viewers of the channel, you will know her, but for those of you who don't, let me introduce you to her. Tasha, Tasha, Tasha! Hello! Tasha's back! Tasha's here! <laughs> Please choose the number of passengers. Please choose your preferred bus. 650. We can still do it. 1650, because right now it's 16 like 10 or something. Oh, perfect. Yeah. This bus ticket at the resort was only $6.67. Usually in the United States, it's like $35 or $40 to get bus transportation to the parks. We have arrived! We. Uh I think I'm gonna like it here. We honestly feel like Annie arriving at Daddy Warbuck's house because this is the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel and we are about to go inside. So join us as we start off at our first hotel for this trip. We're gonna stay at three different hotels during the trip. So here's our first one. Alright, we got 
checked in, and now we are headed to the room trying to find it. But, yeah, it's very classy. Whoa, it's so pretty. Bathroom area. Oh my gosh, look at this, it's like Victorian. What do you think? Oh my gosh, look who they <gasps> Her pajamas. For us. We can both wear two pairs. <laughs> we see the castle. We have the castle view room. Yeah, so the castle is right there. Monorail's going by right now. You can see the World Bazaar, which is the Main Street USA here. And the top of Oh yeah, you can in the background, you can kind of see the volcano over at Tokyo Disney Sea. There's kind of an orange light back there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so we'll take a better look in the morning, but moral of the story is we have a very good view and of the rest of the hotel, too. So, so I'll film some footage of the rest of this and maybe throw it in right now. But, yes, from what we can tell so far, very classy, very fun room. This bedroom can actually sleep for guests because there is a trundle bed that pulls out under the bed nearest the window and this couch also turns into a bed. Love all the little details. and there's actually complimentary bottles of water in the fridge. Look at that, Mickey's got a little hat on and everything and child ones, but I think this is a brush for your shoes. I think this is like a shoehorn to help put your shoes on from a distance. Each day housekeeping will give you more of the amenities that they provide, including these tins which have an amenity kit inside, toothbrushes, and these little plastic cups you get to keep. So the bathrooms here in the hotels at Tokyo Disneyland are going to be a little bit different than what you experience in the U.S. parks, so let's see if... Oh, hello! <laughs> So in here, this entire room is your shower. There's also a very deep bath in here. We have shampoo, conditioner, body wash. I love they do the large bottles, very environmentally friendly. Uh, embroidered towels. Very nice. Um, and then a little fishy yeah, on the front door. From Pinocchio. Um, but the whole room turns into a shower here. So there's a rainfall, but also the handheld one that you got. So, look at that, see? Okay, so we, had, we tried to figure out the toilet initially. There was a hiccup. So we figured out this is big, big flush. This is little flush. Uh, we figured out bidet, that's bidet. This is the one we were having trouble with because I don't know this word, Oshida. It's an it's a unfamiliar word to me, but we can use Google Translate. <laughs> And here's what it means. Booty. So <laughs> good to know. I am embarrassed I didn't know that previously, yes. but now the, we know. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> so our room, how are we feeling about it, Tasha? It's gorgeous. It's very beautiful. It's very Victorian, great details, uh, really great toilet. Um, we love the pajamas and slippers. Lovely. Lots of Great fun. view. We can see the park, the castle, yes. the volcano. It's so pretty. And so, yeah, so now we're going to head to dinner. We have a res reservation at one of the restaurants here in the hotel, but we might walk around the ho little ho we might walk around the hotel a little bit. Clearly, we've been up for many hours. Tasha longer than me because she had a longer flight. But yeah, so we're going to go for dinner now. So join us for some fun. 
Since we have a few minutes before the start of our reservation, we're going to check out some of the gift shops. Oh, uh, like a bath ball to stick in with Disney characters? I love the title of this, The Ancient Times, 1910. The Ancient Times, 1910. <laughs> Are these like Kleenexes? I think it's Kleenex. We just don't get this kind of quality in America. This is what we want. Winnie the Pooh waters. Here's the exclusive merchandise for the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel. So they have special outfits and costumes specifically for this hotel. We got a slinky dog, paper towel dispenser here. And we got, so you can make your own Mickey waffles, little Baymax treats, like a Mickey pancake. Perfect. I've never seen this before. It's so your silverware don't touch the table. Look how cool that is. So they have it for chopsticks, and I guess they've translated ah. it into like a silverware thing, which makes sense. Like, why isn't a, a thing? Why isn't it already a thing for yeah. silverware? Yeah, for real. Very cool. All right, we just started to dish up here at the Sherwood Garden restaurant, and it's looking good. It's a buffet. What did you get, Tasha? Um, I got uh, udon noodles, squid ink pasta, some pork, some seafood tartare. Um, this is kind of like a truffle consomme. Uh, this is um, a mushroom mousse. I got some roasted vegetables, tomatoes, cauliflower, broccoli, uh, dim sum, egg roll. I believe this is pork, and this is a purple potato soup. Oh, and this piece of meat. I also had to get the purple potato soup. I got, this is a pumpkin and something pizza. I got this roll just because it has a cute ghost in it, and I thought that was cute. And this, I think it's salmon. My carrot is cut out like a pumpkin. So I was more about the cute things, but then, yeah. And this roll is supposed to be like Donald's booty. So I'll stick in a picture of it here, but this is supposed to look like Donald's backside. I got some of the same things again like this, but I also got the fig danish. This is duck breast, another sort of danish of sorts, fried chicken, also a pasta with tuna in it, and a cream of mushroom kind of mousse slash soup. I went a little crazy with the desserts, but this is a pear, pear mousse, and look at that little witch's hat. This was a chocolate hazelnut something or other. Mm, I think this was a pot de creme sort of thing. This is a hazelnut roll, and this is a strawberry shortcake. All right, so we are finishing up dinner here at the Sherwood Garden restaurant, and it was all very, very good. Um, because there were so many good things, maybe we'll just pick out some of our favorites to tell. So Tasha, favorite items? Ooh, for savory, I really liked um, the beef kare 
like a, a curry, vi- curry, very good. Um, I also really like this uh, truffle consomme. Um, and there was this mushroom soup or like mushroom mousse that was just super delicious. And, uh, you know, I think everything was just really tasty. There wasn't anything that, the only thing I wasn't too fond of was I accidentally went to the kids uh, buffet first and so I got some plain udon noodles and while I like udon noodles they're just kind of like you know they're for kids so not like a ton of extra flavor uh, and then the desserts everything was so light and creamy so I loved uh, strawberry shortcake hazelnut cake and there was a like an almond like roulade type circle cake all excellent just so light creamy the perfect way to end a meal and I'm sorry I'm a little bit lower energy than normal but a uh, li- little jet lagged I've we've been up for over 24 hours um, and if I weren't if my body weren't on such a weird time clock I'd probably have eaten more but I did eat a lot and everything was delicious yes it, we are both more than a little tired but it was so good um, I love how they have little Halloween touches on some of the items. It was fun, but yeah, for desserts, that strawberry shortcake was so light and fluffy and great. Um, there was, yeah, it was really rich, but the hazelnut one was very good too. And the, for the main dishes, I really liked the curry. Um, that had a really great flavor. I took more than I probably should have because I was already full, but I really enjoyed that flavor. And yeah, just lots of, a wide variety of things to try. The one thing that I liked trying it, but I wouldn't get it again, was the pumpkin pizza. It was real pieces of pumpkin on the pizza, and that's a little different, but it was fun to try. So, yeah, lots of great things. So, I think maybe, yeah, so that is it for the Sherwood Garden Restaurant, but very, very good. And, yeah, I would recommend coming here. It's very relaxed and chill. All right, we are ending the night in our official Tokyo Disneyland Hotel pajamas. So as something they have here, you don't get to keep these, but you get to wear them while you're here. They have pajamas, so we can show Tasha modeling her. Da 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 da. <laughs> so it was a very good, very very busy busy day, but overall the travel was good. Yeah, uh, we got in I think both earlier than expected. For me, no weight at customs at all. Uh, Eric figured out the bus and that was also very easy to navigate. Everything is efficient. Um, it's an improvement over O'Hare Airport, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yes, everything has been so efficient here. So yeah, the bus took us right here. It was probably just a 30 minute ride over from there and they dropped us off at each location. So it was really nice, but yeah. So we have a lot of fun coming over the next few days. So you'll definitely want to sc- subscribe if you haven't already. We are going to Tokyo Disneyland, Tokyo Disney Sea, also seeing other sites around Tokyo and having some fun meals and maybe even on the next video, maybe seeing a Pokemon. So join us for that. But got to catch them all. <laughs> yes. If you have any comments or questions about the Tokyo Disneyland Resort, let me know in the comments below. And then maybe in future videos, I can answer or do reviews of those. But thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all again real soon. Bye.